Property casualty insurers that rely heavily on the Federal Terrorism Reinsurance Program face the risk of downgrades if the program isn't renewed by 2020. AM Best has just released a commentary on the Terrorism Risk Insurance Program Reauthorization Act. Here now to speak about that is Edward Zonenberg, Senior Financial Analyst. And Ed, what can you tell us about AM Best commentary on TRIPRA? Well, first of all, uh, TRIPRA was founded in 2015 as the third iteration of the Terrorism Risk Insurance Act of 2002. Uh, this act was originally founded in order to address uh, insurance and reinsurance affordability and availability issues that arose after the 9-11 terrorism acts. Um, and, but this act is set to expire on December 31st, 2020. So we are addressing the issues that might come up as a, as a result of that uh, expiring. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty about the future of TRIPRA. Um, f a couple things are, uh, will it be extended again? Um, and if so, under what conditions? And uh, just given the current uh, hyperpartisan uh, attitudes in Washington, there's really a lot of uncertainty about whether it will be reauthorized again or not. Um, you know, this this program is is set up to be as a backstop to the regular reinsurance system that is set up, um, and an over reliance on it. Uh, will result in, in potential problems. So AMBEST assesses the impact of the terrorism risk on individual companies by performing a stress test. Now, this stress test is based on information that's provided by the companies, um, both during our regular review process on an annual basis. Um, so certain things that are uh, relied on are the total net exposure after uh, TRIPRA is in place, um, the aggregate exposure in a certain uh, environment or city, um, and also the number of risks that are within that within that city. Um, so that's the that's the current um, issues that are that are arising because of the expiration of Tripper and how we deal with those risks. So Ed, what could this possibly mean for AM best rated insurers as we move forward? So just first of all, I'd like to stress that this has happened before. Um, so back in 2013, there was. Um, some uncertainty about the future of TRIPRA, whether it would be renewed or not. Uh, and we went through a very similar process six years ago, where uh, we looked at companies that had potential exposure um, to the expiration of TRIPRA, and what uh, we asked companies to uh, come up with a plan to address those issues. And this, this iteration, this, this time, is, a lot, is very similar to that. Um, you know, companies, if they have information going back to 2013, they can kind of dust off those plans and use those again if, if they're appropriate, if that works out again this time. Um, so beginning in, in, in mid-year 2019, we're going to compile a list of companies that are, um, that are exposed to, to terrorism. Um, and so companies that have a material terrorism exposure uh, and a significant reliance on TRIPRA will be asked to come up with a plan to mitigate those, those risks, uh, mitigate that exposure. Um, now, though uh, a lot of companies do rely on private reinsurers to cover terrorism risk, there's also the issue of whether um, those, that availability will be as present as it is, as it is currently now. Um, and then insurers that, are, um, that, that cannot come up with a plan to address these issues um, you know, will be, will be notified of a potential uh, rating action, either a downgrade or, or an outlook, but they'll be notified ahead of time. Thanks, Ed. You can find the full commentary online at ambest.com. For AMBest TV, I'm John Weber.